So welcome back all you Flux Automators and in this video I will be reviewing and putting side by side these two Govi lamps. Now Govi just brought this new lamp out of the blue onto the market. It's the Govi Floor Lamp 2 and they've reboxed the Lyra lamp to its new name. Damn! Now I don't know why Govi are changing their names it's really making it hard for people to decide and make the right decision. But in this video, what I'm going to do is just put these two side by side and see if the new floor lamp is better than the Lyra lamp. But also, there's a new one coming as well. So when that comes, I will be reviewing that as well. Hi. If you like any of the videos that you're seeing on the channel, please make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. And if you like any of the products, please make sure to use the QR code, which is down here on the left-hand side, and select and buy the products from there, which helps the channel so I can bring more content to you guys. And also, it's in the description. Thank you. Peace. Flux Automate. So if you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. And what I like to do is go over any of the home automation devices that are on the market. And right now we're going through quite a few of Govi products. What I like to do is put them side by side, review what's in the box, test them, test the application that goes along with it, then give you my marks out of 10 and my recommendations, and then tie up with a conclusion. So what I try to do at the end of the day is help you make that informed decision. So you buy the right product and save some money. So looking at the two boxes, first of all, let's go with the Lyra lamp really quickly because I've already reviewed this in another video. Check it out on the channel. And then I will go on to the new lamp two. Now, I'm not gonna put this lamp two against the lamp one because to be honest, the lamp one is now old school. No need to be purchasing that anymore. It's really old. Save your dough and get one of these two. Or even the new one that's coming, in a couple of weeks. Now, as I was saying, the Lyra lamp has now been renamed to this really long, twisted, alphabetical new name. But if you go on Amazon or the Govi website, they still call it the Lyra lamp. But when you get it, it's got a new name to it. So in this video, I will be looking at the black version. Now on my channel, you would have seen, I already touched on this already, but in the white version, but because the new lamp two comes in black, a nice shiny black now, what we're going to do is just pitch them side by side and just see which one is better. Is it worth sticking with the Lyra lamp with its new name, or if you should upgrade to the new floor lamp two? So let's just take a quick look at the Lyra lamp. I'm gonna call it the Lyra lamp because that's what it really is. And we will look at the modern number, now I'm gonna just double check online to see if the model number has changed or if it's exactly the same and I'm just giving it a new name. Okay, so the back of it, it's just really standard, just shows you the Go V amp and shows you the device right here and a little bit of information in terms of the spec. Nothing else really to see on the rest of the box, just a little bit of advertising. So interestingly, on the underside of the device, it tells us that this is the Govi RGBIC Christmas floor lamp. So really Govi need to really get themselves together in terms of what they're naming their products out here. We've got the RGBIC WW floor lamp. It's also known as the Lyra lamp. It's also known by its model name. And then also, as I said, on the bottom, we've got this Govi RGBIC Christmas floor lamp. So moving to the product that you are most likely here for, is the floor lamp two. And this time we have on the bottom, we have matter. Okay. And the usual Alexa and Google home. So moving to the back of the device, what you'll see here is just an illustration of what a room might look like. And we have some information about what's in the box. And as you can see in this illustration, we have a new light ring that goes around the bottom of the lamp itself. I really think that is a great introduction into this new line of floor lamps. On the side, you can also see an illustration of the three levels of bedtime reading and focus white lights. And they also relate to the ring that goes around the bottom of the device. Really cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is go through the box, look at the devices, look at all the applications that go with it, 
really quickly and then I'm going to put it together and do a side by side comparison so you can see if one is better than the other and if it's worth paying the extra money. But as you know, Govi always do some discounts. So if you're really early to this, you'll most likely get it for the same price as the other device. So throughout this video, I will have the new floor lamp too. And on the left, I'll have the, what's called the Lyra lamp. First things first, out of the box, we have two small boxes. So we have the power supply, screwdriver, screws, and the controller. And in the floor lamp two box, we have the power supply, a bigger screwdriver, the fixing plates, and the controller, which looks exactly like the other controller, and some screws. So let's move these to the side. And in this box is the pole with its connectors in it. And for the Lyra, same, same stuff once again. And I just wanna do a comparison right now. So as you can see right now, they are exactly the same, exact build and color and everything like that. So here we have the light strips. Wanna make sure I don't mix them up. The Lyra first. And then the floor lamp too. So straight away, I see a difference in terms of the connectors. One is a plug and one is a connector. Not too sure what it's called but at least then you don't get it mixed up. From the looks of things, they look like the exact same thing. Let's look at the back. Okay, so at the back, you can see on the Lyra lamp, it is see-through, whereas the floor lamp two, it is not. Okay, now let's look at the main part of the product that we need to be really focusing on right now, which is the base. Okay, so here we have them. We have the Lyra, and now we have the floor lamp two. And as you can see, it has a nice gloss finish on it, whereas the Lyra has that old school matte. Now, it all depends on what you like in your environment. I wouldn't say one is better than the other, but it's nice to see something different compared to what was on the market before. And what you'll notice, the stalk on the Floor Lamp 2 has been extended, as you can see right here, whereas on the Lyra, it's shorter. So at the end of the day, when you put them together, this is going to be taller than this one. Okay, so putting them flat on the table, as you'll notice, they are the same height, same width, slightly wider at the top on this one than this one, but I can't really see too much difference in terms of the aesthetics apart from this lip, which relates to the shininess, whereas this one just has the edge. So now we've got all that out of the way, let's put these devices together and test to see what the lights really look like and see is one better than the other. And I'll give you my recommendations and conclusion at the end. Okay, so here we are and we have both devices set up. So we'll go through the colors one at a time. Both devices are set to 100%. And we just wanna see if there's a difference between one and the other in terms of its brightness, the color saturation, and anything else that you might pick up on screen. Now I can see something straight away because we have the floor lamp too, which has the LEDs on the bottom of the device. It makes it much brighter in the area not just from the front, but also the back. So as you can see, the whole of the wall is actually lit from the floor all the way up the pole. Whereas on the Lyra or the RGBIC WW floor lamp, you can see that it's a bit darker nearer the floor. Now let's just look at the apps. So right now, the Lyra lamp is actually updated in terms of its software and the way it looks. Whereas the floor lamp too isn't, which is a little bit strange because this is a newer device. So really, it should have the newer interface, but hopefully at some point it will be upgraded. Now straight away, you can see that on the floor lamp too, you have the ability to actually turn off the LEDs at the bottom independently from the actual pole. Whereas on the Lyra lamp, 
you only get one option. Both of them are on color now. So let's just go through the colors. So additionally, you can see in the app right now that you can set the color of the ring that goes around the bottom of the lamp different to the actual pole itself, which is really cool. And you can change the brightnesses by using the relative brightness, which will allow you to make the floor LEDs lighter than the actual pole. And you've got the surrounding areas around that, which I'll come back to later on. So first of all, we are looking at the colors. So we have everything on red right now. And I can see a slight difference in terms of the lamp two it is a little bit brighter. Let's move on to orange. So orange, again, the floor lamp two is brighter and it has a bit more vibrance to it. Now the yellows to me never really actually come out really yellow. They look kind of greenish, which is a little bit weird. You can probably see that on the screen right now. Uh, but if you can't, just take my word for it. Moving on to green itself. They are both at the same distance away from the wall. So we can actually tell right now that the LEDs on the floor lamp two are actually stronger or there are more LEDs on that one than the Lyra lamp. Let's go on to blues. Again, brighter on the lamp two compared to the Lyra. We'll go to cyan. Same thing again onto purple okay so when we go to the whites there is a slight difference in terms of the whiteness but that's something that you can tune in so if we look at the warmth versus the cold so let's turn everything warm on both devices and I can see again the lamp 2 has more of a warmer richer color compared to the Lyra lamp and let's go to cold and they are the same in terms of color wise but again the Ra seems to be more LEDs or a stronger LED in the floor lamp too. So let's move on to scenes and both scenes now are set to sunrise and just looking at the app and the tabs right now they are different in terms of the headings of the tabs it seems like the lamp 2 has all these new scenes added to it so there are a few that share the same as in the lyra lamp but then there are a few differences so what i'm going to do is just go through the ones that are the same so i'll double check to see if there are the same amount of scenes sometimes they're laid out differently within the app themselves but we'll have the same amount so we have sunrise as as you can see they are slightly different in terms of the way they display it and um, they are transitioning the Lyra lamp seems to be transitioning. The floor lamp two isn't changing that quickly. Uh, let's look and see if there's a different speed. And as you can see in the lamp two, there is the ability to change the speed. So interestingly, if you look at the bottom of the lamp itself on the LEDs around the base, they have this circling kind of motion going on, which doesn't happen on the Lyra lamp, which is kind of cool. Okay, so sunset again, different on either, each side. I'm assuming over time, the colors will change as I think they are right now. Okay, but they are changing very differently. Let's check out rainbow. So another different type of effect going on here. They do look similar, but as we have the LEDs on the base, it does make the lamp two look a lot more vibrant and colorful. Just check out Glacier. So Glacier again, similar type of theme but one is more saturated than the other one. So you can see the Lyra is more saturated than the lamp two. Let's look at Aurora, similar type of effect again, but just displayed differently. So I'm gonna go through and try and find some of the ones that match. Let's look at Candy. So here we have the Candy effect. much more pronounced on the lamp two than the Lyra lamp. Let's look at profound. 
So again, there are a lot of differences in terms of the names of the scenes compared to the devices and how they display those colors or those effects. The Lyra lamp is a lot more saturated than the, the floor lamp too, is a lot more saturated than the Lyra lamp. And right now I can see a lot of flickering going on on the Lyra lamp and the floor lamp is staying more consistent. Okay, let's look at funny. Funny is usually where we see a lot of differences in terms of the effects that can be displayed. And let's check crossing. Okay, so the floor lamp two right now is way more impressive than the Lyra lamp. Okay, the effects are much more stunning and the Lyra lamp seems to be a little bit slow and not really much of an effect going on there. Let's check out flow. Okay, flow on both devices are so different in terms of what they're displaying. Let's check out split. Okay, a whole different effect going on. The split. And I'm liking the floor lamp too, way more than the Lyra lamp right now. Let's check out marbles. Okay, so again, much stronger effect on the floor lamp too compared to the Lyra lamp. And we'll check one more before we move on. So as you can see, we have breathe, but it's sitting in two different tabs. So let's just check breathe and gradient in here. Breathe, kind of the same. Check out gradient. And you'll notice on gradient, because we have the LEDs around the base, they do move up from the bottom going up to the top, which is kind of cool, which is the effect that you don't get on the Lyra lamp, obviously. So now we've turned both of the lamps around and we have the LEDs pointed directly at us. So now we can see the differences in terms of what we can see from the LEDs. So right now they're on bright white. So let's go ahead and change the brightness. So we're gonna turn them all the way down. The new lamp two does seem to get much dimmer than the Lyra lamp and then you can see the LEDs inside. Okay, so we'll set them at 20% on both devices because if I put it to 100, it's probably just gonna blast the screen and you're probably not gonna see what I'm trying to show you guys. So let's just go through the colors. So first of all, let's go to the reds. Okay. So you're not really gonna see much of a difference on screen. I can see the LEDs more in the new lamp two compared to the Lyra lamp at this point in time at 20%. But most likely you're probably gonna have these lamps turned up much higher than that or even facing the wall. So you're really not gonna really see that. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just test the music mode and this is with the devices actually picking up the sounds. So we're just using hopping now. So as you can see, there's a big difference in terms of the floor lamp too, not using any white, whereas the Lyra lamp is. Let's change to rhythm. It's 
Same type of effect going on there. Let's try fusion. And as we have the new floor lamp too, let's just look at some of the others that come up on there. Luminous. Fantasy. Got stippling. Spring. And splash. Splash looks really cool. So let's just turn these devices around. Okay, so we have them facing the wall now. So a much bigger difference in the way it actually manages the colors. Let's touch on that spring. So I'm just choosing some random ones now. So as you see, there are more options on the Lyra lamp, but I'm sure soon at some point, the floor lamp too will be updated to have more music scenes. And for me, when it comes to the music, the floor lamp too is the winner. So now let's get down to the conclusion and my recommendations. So what I wanna do now is just go through some of the pros and some of the cons. So then it will enable you to make the right decision. Now pro number one will be the bass. I think this is the number one thing that stands out from any other device that's on the market right now and in Goldfree's range. Adding the LED to the base, which doesn't just shine or change color, it does stuff like rotate around and get brighter and dimmer. So I think that is a real good addition to it and it actually works. Pro number two is the height, where this device now comes in at five inches taller than the original lamp and also five inches taller than the Lyra lamp. Coming in at 60 inches compared to 55. Pro number three, the addition of matter is something great future-proof wise. Um, all the devices that seem to be coming through from Govi now seem to have matter enabled, which enables you to manage your devices within your home much easier on the matter platform. Pro number four, we now have brighter LEDs and you would have seen from the example, the new lamp two is much brighter than the Lyra lamp and from the specs provided it is 1725 lumens compared to 1500. Pro number five, the price. I think this is a really good price for this device and if you get in there early, you're gonna get a discount, which is crazy when it's a brand new device and it's already discounted. Pro number six, on the lamp two, you get 82 scenes compared to 64 on the Lyra. Pro number seven, you now get 11 music modes compared to six. Let's move over to the cons. Now there aren't too many cons I can highlight to this device, but I did find a few. So con number one will be the shiny finish. Now it does really look good and elegant in any space, but I would say when you have a shiny finish like this, it will attract a lot of dust and it's gonna be harder to clean than a matte finish. Con number two will be the fact that it only comes in black right now, but I'm sure Govi will be bringing a white version. So if you can hang around or stick around and wait until that comes through, that is an option. Con number three, which I don't think is really a con, but the fact that this is called the Lamp 2 rather than the Lyra 2 is where I think Govi missed the mark there. This is much better than this um, and it's kind of similar to it. It just feels like an upgrade to this one and a much greater upgrade than this whole thing. 
So when it all comes down to it, I'm sure you're waiting to hear what my thoughts and recommendations are on this. And I always like to give you a rating out of 10. This product right here, I gotta give it a 10. A 10 out of 10. But I think this is a marvelous device. And for the price, you can't miss. The fact that if you're coming from the basic floor lamp and you're upgrading to this, trust me, it is a big upgrade and worth the money. So thank you for sticking around until the end. It is much appreciated that you guys are giving me the support. And if you have any questions or need any additional support when it comes to these devices, please feel free to leave a question in the comment and I'll try my best to feed back to you. So wait, 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 before you go, make sure you check out all the other videos on the channel and coming soon will be the Floor Lamp 2 Pro. Flux. Automate.